Welcome to Boat Show TV. This episode begins our coverage of the Palm Beach International Boat Show. First, we get the scoop on these distinctive wooden boats from Hackercraft and take a good look at the first boat out of the new Deep Impact Factory. At Miss Geico Racing, we meet a familiar face along for the ride and then check out Nautical Venture Superstore's on-site demos and countless cool products. To finish off our show, we spend a few minutes with the Boat Kings before checking out this very special motor cap offered by Denison Yachts. Let's go. It's time for Boat Show TV. Take a closer look at the Hackercraft, a classic boat made with fine mahogany. George Badcock is the lead poncho here. 2009, you bought the company. George, you told me five years now here at the Palm Beach Show, you've got two beautiful boats on display. Uh, we do participate in uh, five, six major boat shows each year, as well as a group of regional boat shows. We now have a dealer network that uh, has a, we have a dealer on Lake Tahoe, we have a dealer now on Lake Geneva and on Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire. It's a unique product, obviously. Let's talk a little bit about the heritage and the name. Uh, the Hacker Boat Company been around since the early 1900s. So whenever you hear the word Hacker, this is the company, not a, not a spin-off. But, um, so let's talk about the heritage of that brand and, and, and how many years it's been going and, and how the company has somehow managed to stay a solid and true to its wooden boat building heritage. Well, it has. The company was started by John L. Hacker, who was a noted, if not the noted, a uh, naval architect of his time. He passed away in 1961, but up until the day he died, he was uh, designing and, and building boats uh, from small race boats, 22 footers, on up to uh, luxury yachts. He designed and built a lot of boats during World War II, and of course, he was his claim, claim to fame was his race boats and his runabouts in the 1920s and 30s. We're standing right here in front of a sport model, a 30 foot sport. We took a look at some of the specs. You know, uh, you know, pretty much. All of the design features are very unique to the brand, but when you actually start opening hatches and looking at the component parts, we're dealing with name brand, Mercury products, and uh, you know, so an average boater can get into a boat like this and not feel like you're driving something that you've never driven before. This boat is completely made of mahogany, and inside now, all the uh, structures, uh, the, the finish that you see has uh, 14 or 15 coats of varnish on it. And as you said, we do use Merc Cruiser. We use Ilmore engines. Everything in this boat is completely reliable and does have a, you know, a brand name behind it. If we're building a boat for inventory, we can put in two or three different interiors, all of which allow to carry seven to nine passengers in different forms of uh, seating configuration. And then in, uh, in truth, what we're doing is we're looking to make that customer happy. We want that customer, uh, we always say at the factory, nobody really needs one of these boats. So when someone buys it, we want them to have the ultimate experience and we want them to be happy with the boat. We have another model here at the Palm Beach Show on the other side of your display. What's that model? Uh, that is a 27 foot sport. It is a fiberglass hull. It is fiberglass over the wood frames. It is uh, a new boat for us. We're trying to expand our market, get into more of the salt water or the more coastal water. We had been uh, building primarily mahogany boats until we started building some yacht tenders and they were uh, requested to be in uh, fiberglass. We then took this and went to a retail boat and we'll, we broke, brought this line out at the Miami show and we've got five of these on the various stages on the production line right now. This segment is brought to you by Boats Direct USA. Continuing our coverage here at the Palm Beach International Boat Show, uh, but we all know Boats Direct USA, but David Peace is the new guy on the block. He's the new general manager there. A lot of big changes at Boats Direct USA, and you're telling me some great stories about since you came on board just around the time of the Miami Boat Show, you've had a lot of boat deals, you sell a lot of product, but right now it's all about this deep impact. I guess the eyes are really turning, you're telling me. Uh, the new deep impact, this is our ne uh, next great creation, the 36 cabin model uh, with 350 Mercuries on it. Uh, the client that built this boat absolutely loves the boat. 
uh, and he's taking delivery immediately following the Palm Beach show. Anything new coming down the pipeline with Boats Direct? Anything, any other new products coming on board that you know of? Yes, there are. Some I can tell you about, some I can't. <laughs> uh, our 43 Blackwater, uh, we're continually working on the 43 on a daily basis. Uh, that boat has been in production for a little bit of a period of time because uh, there's a lot of thought going into the boat. Uh, we expect to have that boat for Fort Lauderdale. Don't go away. Boat Show TV will be right back with the latest from the world champion Miss Geico Racing Team as we continue our coverage of the Palm Beach International Boat Show.